Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where I have to be so quiet. <laughs> um, no, so apparently we have house in here now, which is awesome, honestly. Super stoked. Um, oh, before, I also, I did realize I was messing with these and I realized that Speak with the Dead is right here. It was originally back there. And these were like this. And that is why I could not see it. And I'm sure somebody was absolutely losing their mind. Somebody, I don't know who, but somebody was probably like, Oh no, it's right there on your bar. But I couldn't see it, so I didn't know. You know? But now it's there. So that's good. I can also, my friend did spoil this for me, I can summon Scratch now. My little dog. I can summon my little dog out in the world. Uh, but I don't want Scratch to come in a fight, because if Scratch dies, I'll die, also. Um, but yes, I want to go Have to keep going. talk to Halsen. I don't know if Halsen's, like, available. What's this? Is Halsen, like, available to come play? Like, come hang out with us? Oakfather's blessings to you. And you. Um... <laughs> the celebration with the tieflings. I hope I didn't come on too strong. Got caught up in that moment. Listen, I did double check with my friends, and they said that I literally picked the two that uh, that would deny me. <laughs> but everybody else would have jumped my bones. They did not. They did neglect. However, did freaking comment on the fact that he said no to me too. So it's fine. It's typical in games for me. <laughs> so. Um, uh, and he was a, I mean, he's a good third option, but he was the third option. Uh, I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that You're emerged. Didn't... Hideous, <sighs> but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. You're lucky it didn't jump into your own eyeball. Uh, the shadow crush you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. Oh, also, I did see today that apparently there is stuff in the works. They are working at Larian on uh, being able to change how your character looks mid-game. Um, which is awesome. Uh, because I don't want to change anything except I do... I, I either want to make this eye completely white or completely black. Um, probably completely black to, ma to match the other eye. Um like solid you know um so that's gonna be cool i hope that comes out soon but uh we'll see we'll see no rush i am also hoping for the alchemist to come out eventually i don't know if they're planning i have no idea if they're planning on doing like class expansions or anything or or adding more races like get uh, not get uh, genasi and uh tabaxi and stuff like that um, but it'd be super cool, and I would pay for the DLC for that, especially because I got the game for free. <laughs> um, from a friend, not from, not from any official source, for the record. Um, the shadow curse you spoke of surely can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Okay. What about this secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. I mean, I already have. Why do you want to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund, his dark hey. justice, years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Yeah, um, I feel like this is a, like a Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 storyline. Um... It seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. 
Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Um, do you know how it might be stopped? Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be no, said. Like we don't want to overwhelm you with all this stuff. Is that why you went with Aradin? You thought you might, he might find the route to Runerise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. Yeah. How are you faring out here at camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. Okay, interesting. If there's anything I can do to make you less comfortable, as in like, uh, you know, less comfortable so that you're closer to nature kind of way. <laughs> You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Eh, uh, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. No, okay, hang on. All right, if it makes me feel stupid, I'm gonna undo it. But, uh, but I will. He has more health than I do. You wish to speak? At the celebration, I hope I didn't come out too strong. I caught up in the moment. <laughs> There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Okay. Everybody's just telling me nice things, but not doing anything, which is fine. Mm. You. Um, mm hmm. I'm honestly just glad I didn't leave a bad impression then. This is the boring answer, but she's a paladin. She's a little boring. <laughs> she's a little boring. Uh, yeah. A bad impression. <laughs> Impossible. Well, sweet. Okay, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. We get to bring Halson. Oh my gosh. Do I leave Will behind? Well, I guess that maybe I should walk around and see what everybody thought. Always at your side. Well met. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. He's ring. honestly just the nicest. And just when things were warming up. Like, I don't even... I kind of almost like that I don't feel any, like, overt... You okay there? She... She's <laughs> having a moment. I don't feel like any overtly, like, with Gail... And Carlac sometimes it's like really obvious that they want to like jump your bones, but in like everything they say, even from the start. But Will is just like super nice. He's just a super nice guy, and I like him a lot. Oh. You wish to speak? I wish to. Oh. Um. So I guess he doesn't just get to come with me. Dang it. Okay. Well, he's just gonna be chilling at my camp, I guess. Okay. That's the spirit. He's so, he's so nice. He's just so nice. Um, and what is this? I did see this at the party. The map of the Sword Coast sprawls from the deep forest of Tethyr to the frigid spread and the world is topography worn by ancient ink and the constant trade between mortal hands. Invasion plans. I feel like this is like 
like his scale stuff, but the invasion plan seems a little weird. I don't know. That was a fun party. Hey, there's nothing. Let's go. I did no dang it, go back to camp. I go back to camp. I was like, I did decide, and then I totally forgot what I need to do. I did decide we're gonna go do the gif crash. Uh, which means we have to go back to camp and get we don't have to, but I do wanna bring uh what's her name? Lazelle. I will actually leave yes. Gail behind on this one because Will was kinda crushing on Lazelle. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I just meant to go over to I'm you. on my mind. And, well, in it. We're gonna leave Gail behind. As long as she doesn't say something. Always a delight to speak with you. Okay. What That's I fine. Do? I can handle that. I can handle that one. <sighs> I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Idling away the I don't know why you guys couldn't be doing something else. Glad to have an ally. Speak. Oh, your armor. Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? I hadn't thought myself so transparent. Well, you'd be a succulent meal. I would like to have gorged, oh, okay. um, but you've been prodded I, and picked over I, like a suckling uh, boar. I prefer fresh. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that? Oh my gosh! Is that how they give Yankee talk to each other? Like, hey, piece of meat, get over, here. get over here. I prefer you a little seasoned. I prefer you a little fresh. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's So Lizelle's monogamous, whereas Carl, like, and Gail are like, get you some girl, and I'm like, freaking if only I could. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's okay, she scares me. I don't want to romance myself. <laughs> so, um, join me. It is done. I do want to know about her story. Uh, I'm interested in Zell as a character. I feel like of everyone, she should have a more interesting arc, but we'll see. Uh huh. Feet. Oh, jeez. Um. I don't know. I'm gonna give her great, great weapon master. She does have great weapon fighting. I don't know. Looks good to me. Aww, where'd we go? I feel I like put my hands on everything. maybe Halston comes out. Oh, um, I just want to leave. Um, maybe house only comes out when we're getting ready to go on the big mission? I don't know. Leave camp. Okay. On the moonrise one. That's too bad. Would've been fun. But, yeah. One day I'll catch a break. Now... Okay, well, I tried looking up to see if I can bring him out, if I can bring Halston out, and, uh, I feel like I was treading far too close to spoiler territory, so I'm just gonna have to deal. Oh, that's right! We can just fast travel right close. Just fast travel right close. At least ostensibly right close. I kept thinking that about Karlak, too. Maybe everyone's fighting the Gith, because I keep wanting to say Gith. Good old Mass Effect. Smell that? Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need a wake. Uh. My senses are sharp as steel. She's got metaphor down in some ways, but not in others. Oh, hello. A dragon rider. What? My kin are near. A damn thing could blot out the sun. What? What? Stay low. 
You might not see us. Like legit? I tangled with a dragon once. Never forgot it. Like I will legit stay low. I just want to talk. No, I don't want to pickpocket. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham. Excuse. Hey, what? I want. I want to know, but I don't want to be rude. Um. I might have been concerned, had I the slightest idea uh, who they are. What's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. What? what? Who, are, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. <laughs> plenty of us around. Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? Yeah. I go my own way. Alone. That makes sense, lone wolf. Off you go. Rack. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Uh, whatever that is, is not gonna go well, I think. Don't waste a step. Drop your I, I was up above. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. Oh my. This feels excessive. Jerks. But now you've ruined the bridge. Now you can't get across the bridge, you idiots. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Yeah, but I don't think they're very nice. And we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no the harm. The dragons. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. The dragons serve. Yeah? Okay. Oh, I don't think this is gonna go well. Why do I have a backpack? Kithra, we must speak. Yes, Kithra, we shall find it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go well. They're not. They're not gonna think well of her. I think. Hey, I'm listening. Oh, Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. I mean, I, I'm not gonna talk. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geich vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed oh. with the sacred runes of our people. Oh. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. I am holding it. Somehow, it's afraid. You attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Produce the artifact. Uh, persuasion. Oh, baby. Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, by the skin of my teeth. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, Ooh. content with Lazel's answer. Ooh. Ooh. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. To Danos! To the sky! Uh-oh. I I did a deception check, but I failed the one here. I failed the perception? It was deception and perception. Yes. Yeah, hold. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. That contraption's a hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. Um, she wants to collect. She has not said that. I. She has never said anything about soul coins. Hang on. What are you thinking about? Um. No, hang. On. We got we got other things to deal with right now. Damn it all! You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. She's wall. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles distilled Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. I'm constantly missing something in a lot of these conversations. And why am I encumbered? What did I... Oh, the, is it the backpack I picked up? Why am I... Why do I have this backpack? Whose stuff is this? Did somebody... Die? Did I take somebody's stuff? I took Lazelle's stuff. Why did I take Lazelle's stuff? So, yeah, I don't... That whole thing... Like, I feel like I was missing out on, like, gith protocols. Where, like... I figured they'd be really pissed and they'd want to kill us immediately. Once they figured out what we were. But he was, like, interrupting her. And telling her about the artifact. And I don't know why she didn't just give up the artifact immediately. Like, if we just handed... If she just said, oh, you mean this? And handed it to him, I think he would have been like, sweet. Let's kill your slaves and... And you can come with us. So... Because that's what he thinks we are. But... And that wouldn't have harmed her unless she... Like, I don't know, unless she was, like, trying to keep us alive, which I don't really think so, honestly. Or, um, she thought she would get caught in the crossfire of this. I don't, not a hundred, not a hundred percent sure, honestly. Open up. I can't believe she says that to dead bodies. Well. There's no getting across this. Kithrak is not here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Detour. Looks like that dragon destroyed the road. Detour. Oh good. Detour going to the to the right. This just takes you back. I am curious. Oh, wait. 
And yeah, so we we did recognize, like we 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 did we succeed, succeeded in the deception role, where we, uh, like I could tell that we succeeded in our deception, right? Like we saw that we succeeded in it, because we didn't roll deception, but we rolled to see that we succeeded in our deception. But then there was like a perception roll. What was it actually? Let's see. Maybe, maybe I don't get to see it. Yeah, we rolled a critical fail on a perception check, so there was something else that happened um, that I failed to see. I, I did the persuasion and deception, and I'm wondering if it has something to do with Carlag because she was like looking up at the sky weirdly. Um, and, or like she was looking up at the, sky, at the dragon, and I was like, oh, like, do you. I mean, she's like a red tiefling, it's like a red dragon, it reminds me of Sarah from Dragon Age Inquisition, she really liked dragons, but I didn't, I couldn't tell what Carlac was thinking, or if that had anything to do with it, if it was just not related at all, maybe. Oh. Oh. It will be bitterly difficult for a party of your love, never mind. The, the Githyanki crash. Really? Here I am, thinking that we gotta do this, and that it's vital to the story, before we go, because I was thinking the Moonrise Towers was... Now I'm wondering if that's endgame, and the Moonrise Towers isn't. Let me pass. It's a chasm. Oh! Can I have that? Well, thanks. It's still warm from the rain. Ugh, <laughs> gruesome. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.